background up out of the New England, the Crown Studies, longer PFS and higher frequency of ventral response are both latinib versus crizotinib in previously treated advanced L-positive non-small cell lung cancer. The Today Show, Uncle Alert colleague Jill Feldman shares her story on her journey with her lung cancer diagnosis. FDA approves Dervalutumab every four weeks for stage three non-small cell lung cancer after chemo radiation. Nicholas trial of nivolumab concurrent with chemoradiotherapy in locally advanced stage three non-small cell lung cancer. Nature Outlook, lung cancer needs to be seen as a disease affecting women as well as men. Lions and Oncology, Oncology Nursing Workforce, Challenging Solutions and Future Strategies. On clinical cancer research, palocyclid in combination with trastuzumab is safe and exhibits promising survival outcomes in trastuzumab pretreated ER and HER12 positive advanced breast cancer. Editorials at ESMA Open in Passion 130 and 131, how to explain the different results with atezolizumab in metastatic triple negative breast cancer, and the second editorial, CDK4-6 inhibition in hormone receptor positive breast cancer. As results start coming in from the Pfizer, Moderna, and Oxford vaccine, the race is on as the world awaits. Twitter poll suggests that not everyone is sure that they will take the vaccine once available. Some patients treated with anti-CD20 antibody present severe chronic infection and require long stays at the ICU due to lack of B cells. Direct cigarette exposure increases the number of COVID-infected cells. Out on cancer, global cervical HPV eradication within reach. Unique barriers have impeded global cervical cancer prevention, treatment, and elimination. Double negative metastatic prostate cancer rising in prevalence with increasing use of ensalutamab, avaratarone, and driven by FGF alterations. Nature, impact of RAS and OS following liver resection in early versus late onset colorectal cancer. New ASCO guidelines for rectal cancer on radiotherapy. JCO, new ASCO guidelines on systemic therapy for hepatocellular carcinoma. Clinical cancer research, activity limitations, and resistance mechanisms of using PI3K inhibitors as monotherapy to target PIK3CA mutant tumors. Thanks to be on the journal for hosting Onco Alert and inviting our colleagues to check them out. Last day to vote for the ASCO elections is December 8th sending our support to all those in the ballot, especially our Uncle Alert colleagues. Reminder that Estro is in less than two weeks. The Uncle Alert Colloquium coming soon, five days, three hours daily, and absolutely free.